This morning on The Dish, the James Beard Award winner for Best Chef Northeast. Growing up in New Jersey, Karen Akunowitz never planned on being in the restaurant industry. It wasn't until her 20s that she tried her hand in the kitchen and soon dreamed of opening her own restaurant. After culinary school, a year in Italy, and work at top Boston area restaurants, she became executive chef at Boston's acclaimed Myers and Chang. That's where she created Asian style dishes that won her the Beard Award and other big honors. Now she's moved on to that dream of opening her own venue, Fox and the Knife, with an Italian-inspired menu in a warm wine bar setting. Debuts in Boston's South End early this year. We spoke with her recently. Chef Karen Akunowitz, welcome to The Dish. Thank you so much for having me. Congratulations on the James yeah. Beard Award. Oh, thank that you guys. so <laughs> cool. That is so cool. I have to admit, I've been somewhat mesmerized by this beautiful cocktail, but tell us <laughs> what's on the rest of the table. So cocktail first, um, the Aperol Spritz. Yes. Classic okay. Aperol Spritz, one of my favorite. Toast to Italy. Perfect, <laughs> yes. Go. Cheers. 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 Mm. A dead silence. Yeah. <laughs> None of that's out of the way. Um, so today we have a, a couple different recipes. Um, Pork, hazelnut breaded pork milanese with honey crisp apples. And then we have some dishes from the Myers and Chang at Home cookbook that mm. came out last year. So sweet and sour Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts agrodolce, long beans almondine, smashed fingerling potatoes with chili jam and cilantro, Ooh. and a little bit of chocolate tofu mousse. That's what I'm okay. starting with first. Uh, to eat dessert first, that's what Joanne Chang always says. Yes. yes. <laughs> so... I have to say, you you started on this endeavor late in life. I did. Most a little chefs, bit. most chefs start as children. Yeah. How, how did how did you come to it late? You know, I sort of came to the kitchen from from the front door, actually, from the other way around. I've worked in restaurants since I was 17 years old. Mm -hmm. I was a waitress in a diner in New Jersey. Nice. I mean, that's really my first my first restaurant job. Uh, that's where it all started. And um, and I love hospitality. I love restaurants in general. I love that we come together and it feels special when you go out to eat and you know when I was a kid we didn't we didn't have a ton of money so if you if you went out to eat it was a it was a big deal it was yeah. a special occasion yeah. and I love that feeling you talked a little bit about it but w what is it about cooking that you love so much what is it that just drew you there I mean I think it's just you know this exactly this right making food for somebody sitting down sharing food and what comes with the spirit of sitting down together and and eating food together and, and making things something for somebody it's a little bit of like love on a plate right <laughs> <laughs> your first your first kitchen job ended up being a kind of a trial by fire. Oh my gosh, absolutely. When the chef got violently ill. That is correct. <laughs> and then what happened? It was my I mean it was my first day, my first day and my first job as a line cook. It was a very small restaurant. Um, there were only 10 it's actually called 10 tables. Only 10 tables and the owner looked at me and said, "If I don't take any walk-ins, do you think you could cook for the reservations that were coming in?" Mm -hmm. She she said, "I'll make, you know, I'll make the salads. Can you work the stove?" And I in my head I thought no, I can't. Absolutely, I cannot do this. I have no idea. I went to culinary school. I've never worked the line before. I have no idea what I'm doing. But, you know, I said, oh, well, I can, I can try. We got through it. We mm -hmm. fed people. I'm not sure how well we fed them. <laughs> if anyone, you know, is watching this that was there that night, thank you. Thank you for, for <laughs> yeah, being very generous right. and kind. Yeah, right. um, but, yeah, that was, that was kind of it. And, you know, as challenging it was, that was kind of like, it was also like the moment where I was like, Oh, this is, I this is the yeah. thing. Like, what has this been like getting ready to open your own place? It's really exciting. Um, it's, of course, stressful. I mean, that's the reality of it. But it's really exciting. And it's, you know, not to sound cheesy, but it's it's kind of a dream come true. When I found this space, I knew this is the restaurant that I wanted to, to put there. Why? What did you and say? I just felt it's, it's a neighborhood spot. It's on this great corner in South Boston. And I think it just calls for, you know, Someplace that, you know, for lack of a better, like someplace everybody knows your name and warm and welcoming. And for me, living in Italy for a year, that's the spirit of Italian dining, right? Mm -hmm. right? It's much. the coming together, it's aperitivo. It's, you know, the most important thing next to what's for dinner is what's for lunch. <laughs> and and that was that's what this this space said to me. So oh. yeah, it's exciting. I love it. Well, we want to congratulate oh, you on thank that. thank you. But if there's anyone, past or present, oh, that you gosh. could share this meal with, who would it be? <sighs> that's a just so many people. I just uh, actually I just saw Lucinda Williams in concert. Oh, just went to, choice. Oh my gosh. And <laughs> I am. I, she's just one of my favorite artists ever. And if she would play for me, I would absolutely cook for her. <laughs> so.
think it's a great deal. It's a trade-off. What a great right? deal. <laughs> I did say sign the dish. Yes, though. I'm signing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chef. <laughs> Chef Karen, I kind of want to thank you for, for being here, for signing thank the you. dish, too. See, she did it she so did well. It. <laughs> and for more on Karen and the dish, head to our website at cbsthismorning.com.